Many people try to get rid of slugs in their garden if they're growing plants that they don't want their backyard pests to eat. But the biggest problem is most definitely caused by slugs getting into your house. Their trails usually appear overnight across floors, cabinets, and carpets, even up the walls. And just ask anyone who stepped on one oozing its way across the kitchen floor. That slime sticks like glue. An older home can be especially attractive to slugs and snails. There are plenty of cracks and crevices, and underneath it's dark, cool, and often moist. But that doesn't mean that new homes aren't prone to slug infestations either. Luckily, getting rid of slugs from your home isn't impossible, and you don't need to call in a professional. Nor do you have to kill them off with chemicals if that isn't your thing. Follow the steps mentioned in this video to get rid of every slug in your house and prevent them from coming back ever again. 1. Seal gaps First things first, you've got to stop the slugs from getting into your home in the first place. For larger gaps, buy some polyurethane foam in a can. This material expands as it cures and fills up every void with a durable, pest-proof, waterproof barrier. As an added bonus, it'll also seal out the winter wind, noise, and pesky rodents. When finding gaps to seal, pay particular attention around any pipes or ducting, joints, and spaces around doors or the edges of baseboard trim. Wear gloves and old clothes when using foam because it'll stick to absolutely everything, including your hands, hair, clothes, children, and so on. But seriously, there's absolutely no better, easier way to fill large gaps than with expanding foam. Put down newspapers or plastic sheeting and carry a rag to catch any foam oozing out of the nozzle. After the foam hardens, you can easily trim off any excess with a serrated knife or hacksaw blade. 2. Lay down rough surfaces. Slugs have soft bodies, and it hurts them to crawl over rough surfaces. You can put diatomaceous earth, crushed eggshells, sandpaper, and or salt, which melts slugs, around the edges of doors and windows. This should stop them from trying to get into your home pretty fast. Diatomaceous earth is a particularly good all-around pest repellent. It's made from the fossilized remains of a single-celled algae. This material can be sprinkled directly on slugs or used as a barrier. If you live in a dry environment, diatomaceous earth is a very effective slug and insect killer. But keep in mind that it's not effective once it gets wet. 3. Lure the slugs in and release them. If you're not horrified at the thought of collecting a crowd of slugs all in one place, this might be the natural slug repellent for you. Luring them in might seem counterintuitive, but it'll help you to best collect the slugs around your home and send them all away at once. Try putting an upside-down flower pot with a citrus fruit or lettuce near the house to attract the slugs to one location. You can then transport them to a nearby park if you don't want to risk them making their slow, steady way back to your home. 4. Introduce predators. Fancy bringing more wildlife into your garden? You can bring in slugs' natural predators to keep them at bay, including toads, hedgehogs, ducks, lightning bugs, and rove beetles. Ducks in particular are fabulous slug eaters and will seek out those tasty morsels all around your garden. They'll also happily eat your lettuce seedlings, so keep them fenced out until your plants are larger. If you've always fancied a pet duck, now's your time to bring one in. 5. Try copper. Supposedly, when slugs touch copper wire, it gives them an electrical shock and deters them. This has been the source of many internet arguments, however, with some people saying that this trick is pretty ineffective. Plus, copper's expensive. So really, unless you happen to have some lying around, you probably should put this one at the bottom of your to-try list. 6. Make a beer trap. Slugs and snails are attracted to beer. If you take a small container like a tuna tin, Fill it with beer and set it on the ground. The slugs will be attracted to the beer, go for a sip, fall in, and drown. Slug beer traps only attract slugs in the surrounding few feet, so you need lots of them to be effective. It's best to place a trap every meter if you can bear to part with that many cups of beer. 7. Kill them. Now, this suggestion definitely isn't for everybody. Some would argue that, while kind of gross, there's nothing actually harmful about slugs, so it's a bit excessive to kill them off just for trespassing into your home. But if you'd rather they definitely had no way to come back, there are several methods you can use to kill your slug pests. You could drop them in a bucket of soapy water, pour salt on them, or spray them with vinegar or diluted ammonia. But be careful. Salt and vinegar are bad for plants, so it's best to apply directly to the slugs instead of taking a tour of your garden's vegetable patch. 
As you can see, there's a good range of home remedies and natural solutions to help with a slug problem in your home, so there's no reason to share your house with slugs if you don't want to. And nor do you need to use chemicals if you don't want to. Be sure to let us know if we've missed a natural slug removal remedy that you've tried and tested yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you'll enjoy our next video on how to get rid of termites in your house. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.